beauty honey every time i come out to film you because we're gonna do something you're just sleeping you're really really living up to that name sleeping beauty you're precious hi Belle. she's doing her own thing you're gonna go meet the foals today you gotta wake up oh my goodness you were just bucking around being wild earlier and now you're sleeping girl this is gonna be exciting you're gonna get up no are you kidding me right now girl beauty you gotta wake up you gotta wake up Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today has been a highly anticipated and very exciting day. Beauty is going to meet the herd. So we are gonna take her out to the outdoor arena. That is the plan. And she's gonna meet the foals through the fence. So that's who I'm gonna put her with first is the foals and Mushu. Yes. And then eventually she'll meet the other horses too. So she's gonna meet them while we walk by. Belle's like, say what? You're taking my friend away? I'm gonna bring Bagheera in here. I mean, she'll meet Bagheera soon as well. But for today, I'm just gonna move Bagheera into this paddock so Belle has somebody. Beauty can get acquainted with the foals. If for some reason it goes really well with the foals, then I might introduce her to Mushu as well, as long as it's not too overwhelming. Now she's been out and about, she's seen everybody. It's not like, oh, she's just been stuck here and we're gonna throw her out. Like that's not what's happening. I honestly don't anticipate too much drama with the foals. I anticipate excitement. Now she was just running around being crazy and I think she wore herself out. All right, so let's get her up and then we're gonna head out to the outdoor arena. I might do a quick groom on her first and take her blanket off because I have a feeling she might run around a little bit and get too hot and then we'll put it on later. She has a thinner coat, that's why she has a blanket on, same with Belle. So first, a few little updates here. Beauty is doing great. She has settled in so well, I'm so proud of her. I've ridden her another time and we actually took her shoes off you're gonna see that in our equine wellness plan video probably in April when I post it. I'm just showing, you know, all the things we do for the horses, but I did pull her shoes. She was really good, but yeah, you'll get to see that then. So just an update on that. And like I said, I've been riding her, doing groundwork, and she has been phenomenal. I just cannot believe how awesome this mare is. I am utterly pleased and she is better than I could have ever imagined, to be honest. You're just sweet as pie. I also submitted her DNA sample, so we'll figure out what her actual base color is. And it actually does like a health screening, the pattern test, plus her breed analysis. Now, I have to explain here, and I've said this in other videos, the breed analysis is not super accurate, but it will give you some ballpark idea. And I will talk about what breeds, <laughs> what are you doing? I'll talk about what breeds I think she is when we're closer to that. But I'm gonna guess she has something gated in her, even though she's not gated. I just feel like she's a cross of some sort. You are so funny. That's the four-year-old in you. There it is. Just a big baby. You want to goof around. And yeah, so just like a few questions. So somebody brought up like how she was so calm her first ride. Well, first off, it was like 70 degrees. So it was super warm. And we had been doing a lot of groundwork. And somebody's like, how is she a four-year-old? And she's not acting, you know, basically crazy in a new environment. Honestly, the weather had a lot to do with it. It was a nice day, and that's why I took advantage of that opportunity. But she's been good, like, under saddle since. But also, she, like, goofs around and bucks and has so much fun in her paddock, too, right? She's not sick. There's nothing going on. I think she just is like, okay, when somebody's working with me, I have to turn on my brain and really focus on my person, which is awesome. But then she knows there's a time and a place to be crazy and have fun too. Arlo is like that too. He's like so chill and go with the flow and whatever. And then he'll act like a wacko out in the paddock when he's playing. So, okay, let's take her blanket off and then head to the outdoor. We got to groom you a little bit. It's a cute look for you though. I like you in turquoise and teal. Let's take that off. Look at you. You look so good. You're a wonderful weight and see no shoes on. Yeah, she's gonna be muddy, but you're just gonna get muddy anyways. Okay, let's do a super quick brush. And then we're just gonna put you out with the foals, okay? All right, we're gonna head down to the outdoor arena. Let's go. That way she'll be able to meet the foals through the fence first. Let's see how the boys react too. Okay, so I think a good spot right now 
is through the fence. You're just gonna wanna eat grass. Oh, of course, coming in hot, Lumiere, my goodness. You just want all the ladies. Okay, so these are gonna be your pasture mates. Meet Esmeralda and Ariel. Okay, you gonna be nice, beauty? I have no idea. She's like, what are these things? Ooh, little nippy, sassy. Okay, that was good. I mean, the babies are pretty, like, obviously non-threatening. So, like I said, there could be some excitement, but I don't anticipate, like, a lot of crazy, crazy. You know, like, kind of Lumi was a little more intense with the introduction, but... This is your new nanny! Ooh! She's a tough one. <laughs> you want to meet the others? Oh, Lumi. She probably doesn't care about you. She just wants to eat grass. She doesn't care. She's like, you can't do anything for me, so why would I acknowledge you? Oh, beauty, you are funny. Look at her. She gives two craps. Like, she was very interested in Belle. She won't even... <laughs> you are friend zone rejected everything, buddy. I am so sorry, but she has zero interest in you. The grass is more important than you, apparently. Oh my gosh, she like literally doesn't care. <laughs> Lumi's like, all of the ladies love me. Like, what? Okay, let's go move along. Mushu, you're probably going to go in there today, so I want you to say hi. Mushu's also non threatening. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, buddy. She doesn't care about you. Say hi to Mushi. Oh my goodness. All she cares about is food. That's the way to her heart. Obviously. I'm the same way, girl. At least he's being respectful. He's just super interested. Ooh, big boy Gaston. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh yeah, you tell him. You tell him, beauty. Lumi, oh, he's so mad. He's so mad. Oh boy, the drama. Mushu's just smiling. He's just like happy to be <laughs> involved with anything. Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. So dramatic. You are a very good girl, beauty. And you're being a good boy. You are, you honestly are. You're not doing anything wrong. I know that you're dominant. I'm surprised Jiminy's not running over here, probably because he just knows Lumiere is going to be obnoxious. Mushu, you're blocking Jiminy. Arlo's like, I don't care about anything. You get him. <laughs> Sass. All right, let's put you in the outdoor. Let's let you loose. Okay, enough with these geldings. Okay, we're in the outdoor arena, but honestly, I think she's going to be so distracted by grass that she's not really going to pay attention much to the foals until she's in her paddock. So, you know, they're coming up right now. I mean, she's getting used to them, but I don't think she's going to move around in here as much as I wanted her to because of the grass. Hello? You girls are absolutely precious. I think beauty will kind of be annoyed by you a little bit but she's gonna be nice you guys are funny she's cool though isn't she also i measured beauty and she is guess what 14 3 so a fantastic height love her height <laughs> you girls are precious look at ariel's yes you that's your name look at her coat like look at all the shed out all that white coming back in because if you look back at her old videos, she looks so different. Like she's so white and her head is very distinctly, you know, her bayish red brown. Beauty, you're supposed to be like meeting them and all you're doing is eating. All right, I don't think she's really gonna care. Like I said, when I put her in there, it might be different. 
I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Maybe I should just let the foals in here. Or just put her in the paddock. I don't know. Because I know the foals kind of want to run around. And then they could all get their energy out. And then I could put Mushu in. Maybe we'll do that. Honestly, they'll probably just fart around and then start eating. So, all right. I'm going to let them out. Plus, the foals want to run around. She doesn't care. And it'll give them more space to get acquainted, too. The outdoor arena is a little bit bigger than their pen. So, let's do that. Come on, girls. Ezzy, Ariel, you want to come out? They're like, what? Come over here. You're too distracted. Look at Lumiere. He cannot handle himself. <laughs> come on, girls. Ariel, Ezzy, come on. Go on out, girls. Go meet your new nanny. Okay, everybody's going to be nice. Look at all that work I did, and you're disgusting again. Like, what? This is why I kind of give up. Sorry, I got hair in my mouth. In the spring. All right, let's go out. Come on. Why is everybody in like sleep mode right now? Come on. I gotta shut this gate. Go. Oh boy. See, everyone just starts eating. I knew this would happen. Well, I guess this would be good just kind of get used to each other being around. Easy integration. Ariel's off yonder. Found her own grass patch. Guys, come on! I want you to move around a little. As he got the hint. As he got the hint. And back to eating. Well, so far there is absolutely zero drama. So I guess that's good. Beauty, you're supposed to run around. There we go. Is he just clacking away? Well, that's good. Oh my gosh, look who is coming right over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, the drama with these guys, I swear. Lumiere's obsessed. Jiminy gets obsessed with new mares too. As he's like, hi, I'm gonna stick my head through. Oh my goodness. Ezzy, you keep breaking those. Well, the little trio here. It's good. Ezzy, you're looking very drafty today. Very drafty. Her feather is just getting huge. It's longer. You're not a stallion anymore. What do you girls think, huh? They're just trying to get all of the grass they can. <laughs> Beauty, what do you think, hon? What do you think? You gonna go for a roll? Bagheera acts the exact same way with them. Like, she's not gonna go out of her way, but if they're in the way, she'll, she'll kind of like pin her ears and move them. As he's like, dang it, I don't want to move. <sighs> Ariel, come on. All right, so now they're in the paddock. They ran in here because I opened the gate and they're trying to run in here. And now Beauty is in her paddock. So let's see here. <laughs> so far, everything's going well. Hi. Good 
goodness. Now we might get crazy because there's not as many grass distractions. Look at them. I think Beauty will be really happy out here though. Yep, there's the hay. This is going so well, it makes me really happy. I think it's gonna be great for all the horses. Ezzy and Ariel make it easy, cause like I said, they're younger. Oh boy. Oh, now you run around? I let you out to run around and you just want to eat grass like crazy. <laughs> You're nuts. You are crazy. And gorgeous, my gosh, look at her. Like what? How is this my surprise? How is this my fool that I just randomly got with a surprise? And then you are awesome too. You guys are so cool, I just love you. You're all prancy, but you weren't doing anything out there. Like, what do you want from me? Hi, Ariel. Hi. What you doing? She likes to play with my scarves and zippers and jackets. Beauty's just checking everything out. Yeah, that's a tree. <laughs> She's like so entertained by just like a new environment and not the foals. I think we'll definitely put Mushu in here because there's just, you know, there's nothing going on other than her looking around. I'm going to give her a little time and then we'll put him in because he's also non-threatening. Just a big stuffed animal. That's all he is, really. <laughs> As he, gosh, you guys are huge. Huh. Got to get in here and drag this paddock. I think tomorrow I'm going to do that. It was kind of frozen earlier. I didn't know if it would unfreeze. I mean, it's not super, super cold today, but it's colder. Well, why are you turning your butt at her when you're the one who ran up to her? You goof. But yeah, that was cool. See, she's like, yeah, uh, but didn't do anything. She's like Bagheera. She's acting like Bagheera does with the mares. Bagheera can be really sweet, but she can also be like, yeah, get away from me. But she's never aggressive to them. Like she doesn't go out of her way. Yeah, look at all that. You see chickens? The neighbor's chickens. Ariel, you're darling. The foals are just cracking me up with how entertained they are. Hi, what's up? Yes, I got you a new friend. Are you excited? You're welcome. Beauty, you're such a good girl. Now you'll be able to watch lessons and stuff before you become a part of the program. Oh, what, honey? I know, I love you. You're so cute. Want some grass? Oh, there's not much in here. Well, oh. Well, you gotta eat it, silly. Uh-oh. Hi, beauty, hi. What do you think of the babies? This better? You happy girl? You happy baby? Okay, so I think my plan is obviously get her used to the foals and Mushu and then eventually like Bagheera and rotate them. Hi, Ariel. In and out. And then I think I'm gonna put the foals in the side paddock when we do their boot camp. Honestly, I've been doing a lot with them, but I haven't filmed their actual boot camp yet. Like I want to pick a time frame where the weather's gonna be decent. And I have a lot of time to dedicate to that like straight. But anyways, I think I'll put them in the side paddock and then bring Belle out here and then just kind of do some rotation. Belle's been doing good though. I mean, I've been doing groundwork with her and you know, just grooming her and she's done like a couple ground lessons and all of that. So, I mean, she, she's good. Like right now it's fine. 
So that makes me happy. We'll figure it out. Beauty is figuring out the run-in shed. We gotta clean that poop off the ledge. What the heck, girls? What are you guys doing? But good, see, she's checking everything out. She knows where her shelter is, her food, water. You guys grooming each other? Being good girls? What do you think, beauty? Ariel's confidence is a lot stronger now too. I mean, as your butt, I'm trying to show Ariel. Yeah, she's just so much more confident. Makes me happy. Curious, like her little expressive eyes, she's opening up, which is awesome. Oh, are we just gonna go eat hay now? Wow, that was the craziest introduction I've ever seen in my life. No, I knew it'd be chill with the babies and, and beauty just the way she is. I knew with Lumi it'd be okay. I just knew he would be more dramatic like when I introduced him to the herd, just considering all of his factors. All right, we're gonna give you a little time and then we're gonna go get the smoosh. He won't do anything besides be curious. And then it'll be interesting to see if she's more dominant than him. Cause I don't know about her dominance yet. I mean, anybody's more dominant than the foals. And out of these two, Esmeralda is more dominant than Ariel. But as they get older, they'll establish more dominance and rank within the herd. Girls, you're going to be going out on pasture not too long. Oh, I need to hotwire this. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get your head in. Nope. Naughty. Naughty. All right, I'm gonna go do a few barn chores and then I'm gonna grab Mushu. So, hope you're enjoying this so far, horse lovers. Beauty, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You happy? All right, they've all been really chill. I'm gonna go grab Mushu now. Okay, I got Mushu. We're gonna go put him in there. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I think it'll be good. I have another friend for you. What do you think? Really curious who's gonna be more dominant. Now you'll say hi, cause you're not distracted by grass. That's Mushu. If you clack Mushu, I swear, he still clacks. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He's really nice though, I promise. She's like, oh, you have a mustache. <laughs> Here we go, let's see. Sizing everyone up here. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, beauty? I'm 
waiting for the squeals, but I don't know. Like I said, Mushu is kind of non-threatening and she's not super dramatic. Look at the foals. They're like, um, oh, jeez. Here we go. They're cute. Ooh, little driving team. They're like, let's let's run the foals around. That's funny. Ooh. Mushu chunk. Meanwhile, Lumiere is just staring, watching the whole time. You guys are doing well. I didn't think it'd be too big a deal. What do you think, Mushu? Mushu goes in between this paddock and the other main paddock every every few days or so so he's just like all right i guess i'm back in here and there's a new girl cool they wear you out <laughs> my goodness the drama Mushu is so funny with them. You guys are so cute. He loves to groom Ariel. I notice that all the time. Oop. You're about the same height as them, you little short king. Just a lot wider. They're adorable. I just could sit here and watch them all day. It's so entertaining. The herd dynamics and their behaviors. They're so beautiful and cute and fun. A little trio here. Hi. Hi, you little chunk monk. Look at you look so wide at this angle. The camera adds 10 pounds though, right? Plus hair and fluff. Hi, Mushi. You being a good boy. You being a good boy. You're so cute. Hi. Look at that mustache. Beauty's just chilling over in the corner and in the run-in shed. Just hanging out. Just taking a little break. Pretty chill, honestly. All right. Got Bagheera in the side paddock for now. Belle's hanging out over there, too. So, like I said, Belle's been doing great. I posted that little update about her doing groundwork and the lessons, so that was good. Yeah, she's great, so... I'm happy that she's doing well. She's gained weight. Everything's good for now. Ma'am, you already ate. I don't know why you're looking for food. You got hay over there. You've been a good girl. Got Bagheera back. Okay, it's been a little while. Let's go check on Beauty, the Foles, and Mr. Mushu. Okay, this is a great sign. They're just hanging out now, eating. That's really good. No drama. Mushu's over there. Ariel's there. They're all just hanging out. So that went very smooth. I'm really happy that everything went well and that Beauty can be out in the larger paddock now and the foals get used to somebody else and Mushu and everything. And I'll probably just rotate horses in and out of this paddock so that the foals continue getting used to other horses and Beauty gets used to other horses too. But yeah, this went great. It's always such an interesting process to see the horse introductions and integrate the horses into the herd, but this went really, really well, so I'm happy. Also today, I am wearing my Mustang Mauve topped with my Galloping and Glitter lip gloss. So the Mauve is this beautiful pinkish color. It's very neutral, high, high reviews. I mean, everybody has loved this one, and I like a little bit of shimmer, so I added the Galloping and Glitter lip gloss on top. So if you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, the best way to do that is to order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique, link in the description and the comments. Thanks, horse lovers. All right, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any updates with the horses, or anything else that we have going on. And I'll see you next time. Bye! You're so pretty and sweet. You gorgeous, gorgeous girl. So happy you're here, beauty.
Hi. You having fun? Being a good girl? Go have fun!